BFH. <laughs> Why do I need a BFH? Because my snowblower that I just bought an hour ago was busted already. I gotta be nice, but uh, it's used. I bought it from a dealer that I've done some business with in the past. But, a few problems here. Bolts are loose. I'll tighten them up. And those bloody shear bolts. Yep. Sheared. Grease fitting. I'm going to grease that up. Pretty good shape. Price was right. 500 bucks. It's got a cab that I never used before, but it's pretty convenient. Keeps the snow out of your face. 12 horsepower. 33 inch. And it's made in Tecumseh Bankrupt. Made in Murray Incorporated, Jackson, Tennessee, made in USA, 1983, 25 years old, mm. or the 83rd week of 04, maybe, hmm, pretty good shape, it's got tire chains, looks like it's missing one there, that's the connector link, didn't start too easy, hard to get to the pull starter with this cover in place, you only use your left hand. Electric start works. How's the oil? I noticed that this oil dipstick is held on with a screw. That screw comes loose, it goes into the crankcase. Oil's brand new. I would have put synthetic oil. The swivel here is all worn out. Someone's patched it with a piece of strapping, but we're going to get a new one for that. So, 500 bucks for you machine. Let's get the bolt out, it's busted. You know, tripods in the Suburban, I want to get some work done. Go up to the new house and plow some snow there. Bloody barrel bolts. I mean, um, segmented bolts, whatever you call them. Junk. Alright, fix this baby up. Alright, I got her flipped on her nose. And uh, I was hoping to find a bit fancier stuff in here. We got one new belt, but I noticed the drive belt off the engine is a little, hmm, looks a little old. And the drive disc, whatever you call it, needs to be polished up. It's got a lot of residue from the friction wheel or whatever you call it. Friction disc. So I'm going to clean this sucker up a little bit. wheels spinning and slipping because it felt like it was slipping going up the hill. Didn't even have any snow under the uh, wheels. Pull on the starter cord a bit and rotate the engine. Oop, not too much. Alright, that's what I'm doing. I also noticed a couple of welds here for the case are cracked where they spot all the machine together. I don't know if those bolts are tight either. Seems to be rocking a bit. I have to snug things up a little bit. I'll bring it to the shop later on. I'm going to re-weld the case over there. Crack. Oil up the chain. Chains. It's got new bushings. New drive wheel bushings. Alright. We'll fix this sucker up. Ah. Nice 
shocked. This camera is all full of snow. I just whipped it in the air. Whee! I hit one of the spring hand controls, or it hit, or the spring hand control hit it. Hang on. I'm going to clean the lens a bit. Hang on. Watch your eyes. There we go. There. What a great shot, huh? Four-wheel drive blazer. I fixed it. Steel. Welded. New plates. Welded. 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 I welded that a long time ago. I heated it up first with a oxyacetylene torch, and then I welded it. Nice welding, huh? Welded. Welded. All right, I gotta get to work. I even adjusted my headlights. Get to work. <laughs>